We're all addicted to something. You know, me, alcohol, amphetamines, love for my father that I don't get. Everyone has something, and some people have a little bit more stranger ones, and that's why they made a show called My Strange Addiction that we're gonna watch right now. Okay, you got this covered. My addiction is eating couch cushions. Out of all my strange addictions, I think this is the one I've seen a clip from before, is the couch cushions one. That's a crazy the one. risk that you're running is you can get something called a bezoar. That's a serious I don't want to lose her. I love to wear fursuits. We're in public. You keep that. What a shift in looks. emotion. My name's Adele. I'm 30 years old. I'm from Bradenton, Florida. My Florida, where is... else? Brings them on the road with her? Oh, just a little to go. I was about 10 years old, and my cousin, we were in his room, and he's like, try this. There's always somebody that enables it. Yo, try this, yo. All the cool kids in school are doing it. Come on, don't be a puss. Yo, fucking try it. Come on. Try some of my couch cushion. Come on. Fucking do it, pussy. This is the only one I think I could get. I think I get this one more than I do of the other ones. I had a phase where I was very stressed in like high school, maybe middle school, where I would like, I would pick out the hair, like back here. I'd like, I would just like pick hair. I don't know. It was like stressing and I would just do it until like my dad noticed I had like a fucking ball spot back there. He's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. It's like a nervous like thing. I'm just like fucking like picking hair back. He's like, you're going to actually go bald. Don't do that. That's like a stress thing. So I get like a stress, you know, a stress eating pillow. <laughs> 200 pounds of couch cushion. How do they even measure that? How do they know? Base. Seven couches and two chairs. Bro, I could fucking beat that. She had what, 30 years to do this? Yeah, no, I'm beating that. Sometimes I'll just go on like a binge where I'll just keep going for like 20, 25 minutes straight of just eating cushion. For me, couch it's smart food popcorn, right. but I feel that. This is the damage that I've done so far. Okay, well, I'm gonna stay the obvious here. That can't be good for you, right? I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark. This can't be good for you? Are they going to blame this on her? <laughs> oh, no, 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 sorry. Control my parents. Oh, sorry. I read that the wrong way. In my mind, I'm like, are they going to blame it on her? They're saying the addiction started after her parents got divorced. Okay, so the stress from the divorce got her to start doing this. Well, that's actually about the same time as my hair thing. You know, that kind of makes sense. And that's when my parents got divorced. <sighs> I'm worrying so much about myself from this. I would find pretty much anything with cushion. <laughs> this is just me opening up about my strange addictions. I've gotten over them, obviously, but I, I ate could. these, baby. Oh, I ate these, all right. I ate that for sure. I would bite that thing off right away. I wouldn't, like, swallow it. I just wanted to look at, like, the biting of it, you know, like, what it looked like. And then I'd always be pissed because I had no eraser. <laughs> So I'd be like, fuck, why did I do that? I can't even erase. So I always be having to borrow other people's pencils to erase stuff. Yeah, but I did it every time without fail. Anyways, I got over it, all right? You guys don't see a fucking full basket of number two pencils back there, do you? I'm not going to pull them out to show you, but they're not in there. My mom had dresses with shoulder pads. I got to all her dresses and ate all her shoulder pads. Oh, damn. My mom They run some tests on her, and when they came back with the pathology report, uh, Yeah, your daughter she, has insulation in her stomach. So now you're 30, and when you were 16, I tolerated it. And now it's time to put a stop to it. It's controlling me. You know, I can't say no. I can't stop, so... Well, that's like a drug. Mm-hmm. No way that she's eating cushion all day makes me sick to my stomach. It literally I mean, makes her sick to her stomach. I want this to be over and I, I want help. I'll be there for you 24 hours a day. One, two, three, four o'clock in the morning. If you need to talk to me, you know where I am. Where were you the last 14 years? As a mom, I'm so worried. I'm about ready to pack my stuff and move in with Adele. I don't want to lose her. And check out this weird furry. This woman could die from eating couch cushions. Stephanie found a furry suit. Let's look at this. My name is Lauren. I'm 19 years old. I'm a college student. And I love to I have a repulse to does. furries. I'm not judging in a way where I'm going to fucking go up and bully them in person, but I am repulsed by the furry stuff. I really am. I find it extremely creepy. I find it creepy. I know it's a hard stance. I'm sorry, but I just, I can't get behind it. I find it creepy. I'm also terrified of like people in suits in general, though. I don't like fucking mascots. I don't like dressing up on Halloween. I've always been terrified as a kid. So it could be some kid internal part of me, but uh, no, I don't like it. When I wear gear in public, I've Definitely get a lot of weird looks. Furries would beat my ass. What does that have to do with anything? 
<laughs> I'm sure the people can be cool. Don't get me wrong. I've seen the furry con stuff and the, the people seem nice and like super normal when they talk. I just find the whole interacting, doing it themselves. This part right here, Lauren's obsessed with wearing fake animal ears, masks, paws, and tails. I find it weird and creepy. That's just me. You do you. Lauren's always been a real creative person. All of a sudden, one day she came and said, Mom, you, you want to give me some money so I can start buying some fur and making these suits? And that's how it came to be. Dude, they always fucking do this. Lauren, as a kid, was really she was always a furry. When, when her dad died, that's when things started to go downhill for Lauren. After that, she became introverted. She barely squeaked by in high school. Squeak. And that's what furries do. So it's not uncommon that people who will wear these furry animal costumes are really avoiding some major issues about their own self-esteem, their own perceived. She golfs and in so the suit. <laughs> you have to be sweating bullets. There's no way you can golf in the fursuit. No, I don't believe it. Furry fandom is a very large community. It's full of people who wear fursuits and who just love either creating them, wearing them, drawing them, or just looking at them. I'm fascinated by this because why did it like become like fursuits? Like everyone latched onto that. Couldn't there be other ways? Like why couldn't it just be like, they all look the same. They're giant fucking heads. Like why are they giant? Why are they all giant? Why can't they be like small? Why aren't the, why isn't anyone coming in with like a really small form fitting fursuit? I don't know. Is that a weird question? There is a darker side to the fandom where it does involve fetishes. Right now, it's the whole setting. It's just kind of a little nerve wracking. We're gonna look down into her stomach. All right, we needed a couch cushion break. Oh, Jesus. Just cushion? She continues to eat cushion? I'm at the doctor's office today, super nervous. Um, it's been 14 years since the last time I've seen a doctor about eating cushion. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. A full fucking 14 years since you last seen the doctor about eating cushion. Hasn't just come up in the yearly checkup? Oh, that's not good at all. I'm scared. Right now, it's the whole setting. It's just kind of a little nerve wracking. I want her to be All okay, right. but 14 years, there's no shot. We're gonna look down into her stomach to see if there's any pain cushion. Is that a tiny Look. family of mouses living on miniature couch oh, cushions in there? And watching TV? There's, uh, there's no foam or anything. Oh, really? That's wild. Could, That's you know, crazy. Like if it does uh, ball up somewhere else, you're going you're gonna to get an obstruction. Yeah, that was the upper intestine and stomach, right? It could just all be in the lower. On. I'm not certain if Adele realizes how lucky she is. The worst case scenario would be she gets a bowel obstruction, she perforates her intestine, she gets septic, and she gets extremely ill. Back to furry. My name is Lauren, and I love to wear fursuits. My fursona's name is Kira. Uh, it's a good name. When Lauren first told me about the whole furry fandom, I really thought it was bizarre. We started talking about making me a suit, and now that I actually have it, it's really cool. I love, I've loved the way it turned out. I'd be more embarrassed to be wearing Aeropostale. So now, is this like sport mode for the fursuit? When you don't go full fursuit, just tail and head, is that like athletic stance mode? Maybe because you have to wear bowling shoes, you can't put on the whole suit? Maybe that's why. We're here at the bowling alley with some family and friends, and Chris is here. He's the one who most disapproves of my fursuit, so we'll see what happens. Hey, Kara, lay the ball on the ground and hit it with your tail. <laughs> She's sad or laughing, cousin. I can't tell. When my father passed away, he definitely became sort of a father figure. Okay, I guess she was probably smiling, probably a little that banter. We're in public. <laughs> Keep that in the house. Am I right or wrong? I'm, I'm with you, cousin. stepdad. He's eight years old. And every <laughs> Here's what I will say. If I did have a fursuit, I would want one that's comically big. You know what I think, too? I feel like these fursuits need to have, like, some kind of, like, weapons to make them cooler, you know? Like, if we put, like, some, like, cool, like, fucking... Maybe not blades, but like some blunt objects on them. So like we could do like fursuit battles. That might make fursuits kind of cool. I'm just thinking out loud here. But I would want one that's like comically larger. Even though I said I was scared of large ones before. If we had like a really big one, you know, that I'm just like fucking Hulk of a furry. I could just fucking take down the other furries. Start kicking them all and shit. I think it's a little ridiculous, especially in a public place. I think it's pretty out there. It's weird walking around with these things on. That's How scared would our forward enemies be? <laughs> if 
this is what they saw on the battlefield. But just like razor blades coming out. That would make them cool. You wouldn't bully them so much. I got good ideas. What if Batman had actual fur? You're right. Me and my family are here at Starved Rock and I just decided to bring my Kira costume. <laughs> I know my mom doesn't really like it when I dress up as Kira on family outings, but I just couldn't resist. Oh, the kiss with the mask. On the hike, me and Eric decided to go and play tag in the woods. We definitely had a lot of people stopping and staring. A few comments. Part of them, like, not being embarrassed by it, it has to be that no one can see their face, I imagine. Whenever, like, we had masks on for COVID, you put a mask on, like a hat and shades, I feel like you walk in anywhere. You feel like no one's even looking at you. No one even knows what anything looks like, so, like, who fucking cares? I don't know what she's doing around that tree. Well, I think they're pretty crazy for doing it. It's crazy. Okay, well, now they look like they're trying to kill people. I'm Don't hide behind trees sure like that. I'm a little concerned how far this is going to go. I think my mom doesn't really understand the whole concept of it. I think she thinks too deep into it. It's an escape from reality. She's with her an entire family out right now. <laughs> they're escaping reality at the wrong time. They're in reality right now. But I'm just really kind of worried about where you're going with this. I'm afraid that you're taking it to something that's beyond a hobby. You want to go to your furry con, I don't know why I said it like that, or you want to go furry out in the fucking meadows, cool. When you're with your family, don't bring the fursuit. And I'm just afraid that either you're hiding behind this or you're using this as a way to have permission to go on. And that's it's why me, as your mother, I want you to meet my fursona, Patricia. She like puts it on, she's like, I accept you. I was just wondering if you'd be on board if you would go and talk to somebody about it. Yeah, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it, but, I mean, sure. <laughs> Good. Okay, that's all I ask. Back to pillows. <laughs> my name's Adele, and my addiction is eating couch. I mean, it's sad, but just every single time they come back to her, it's just instantly just right. okay. shoving the, the fucking pillows in. The doctor told me that there was no damage. To she is so stomach, lucky there's so no damage. That's wild. That. The doctor recommended I see a therapist. Sometimes this has a lot to do with stuffing feelings down, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, come on. Don't make the jokes that easy, psychologist woman. Look, I just want to cushion the blow here. I've never really thought of it that way, but now that she's saying it, all my feelings that I didn't express to other people, I just wanted to weigh them down, push them down, and that's just how I've been dealing with life. What is she addicted to? Look. Old feelings. <laughs> there. Those weren't B-roll of her eating a Cobb salad. That is her housing a fucking couch. If Adele can't break this habit, I really worry about her physical health. She's totally Burry. crazy. How would you say you feel? Oh, I wish she came to the psychologist in her first suit. I'm pretty interested to see what a therapist has to say about this. I mean, it's completely harmless. I don't think I'd be stopping anytime soon. I wonder in therapy right now what the consensus is. Because I'm sure some are like, it's a good outlet, and others be like, you gotta stop right now. Who do you think you are? I'm not extremely familiar with the community of furries. So would you tell me a little bit about that? Um, I made um, what are called first. I don't think they teach furry yeah, like psychology. Persona. I don't think that's like a subsection <laughs> class. Her name is Kira. She's kind of the more outgoing side of my personality. Just amplified. Would she be the life of a party? Would she be? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If I could get the alcohol um, through the suit, it just never goes in. I try. I it just, it's all over the fucking mask. Can you imagine like, Kira doing a fucking keg stand? <laughs> <laughs> but it's been kind of declining lately. Like since my dad passed away. Oh, and sorry. Bad is... timing on that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she is working on these suits in a way that I'm not sure many people could say they're dedicated to anything to the extent she is. And when you think about self-esteem, think about all the other wonderful things you're able to accomplish. <laughs> and you know, it doesn't hurt to look for some reminders. Yeah. <laughs> hanging, hanging an A-plus paper on the refrigerator, <laughs> while it sounds a little childish in a way, it's a reminder of what mm -hmm. you're capable of doing. I don't know, man. I feel like anyone could draw that line. Be like, okay, what's your main hobby? Furries? Okay, your dad died here. You're filling in that gap by making fursuits. Well, what if her hobby was like, anything else. Could you not still make the same connection? I feel like we're grasping straws. Are you willing to do some things, some behavioral things, to get going in the process of starting to heal? Mm, definitely. I'd like you to start journaling every day. I That's journal on the couch. I know it's going to be a process, but I really feel good about, you know, just starting this. Thing. Wouldn't that be so funny? <laughs> While they're talking right now, she's just like, her other hand is just like reaching back 
like through the couch cushion behind her. She's kind of going back down there. She's like, what are, wait, what, what are you doing back there? You know, I don't want to keep doing the same thing over. It's been 20 years already. I'm going to do whatever I need to do. Two weeks later, Adele was admitted to the hospital due to blockage in her lower intestine. Damn. I forget who said it in chat first, but literally called that shit. Well, did you check the lower intestine? <laughs> He said endoscopy was only for upper intestine and stomach and everything looked good. So what about the lower intestine? Well, she just had a lot of pain the week before. That adds up. She's still eating cushion despite this life-threatening experience. <sighs> ah, damn it. She just needs someone that lives with her to like make her stop. It sounds like she lives by herself right now. I think she lives with her mom. I don't see myself stopping being in the furry fandom or wearing my fursuits. It's definitely a very rewarding experience for me and I just love doing it. So I will definitely be continuing this. Lauren is still engrossed in furry fandom. She's currently brainstorming for her next Did persona. <laughs> she's working really hard right now. She's, she's currently brainstorming. Lauren's got a good head on her shoulders and I'm hoping she doesn't get into this light a person could. I just want Lauren to feel comfortable with herself. One day you're wearing furry suits. The next day you want to become a human dog. That's all I'm saying. The pipeline exists. That's all I'm saying. All right. You got to be careful. This music is a happy in tone. Do not be fooled. I don't think this is a good thing. I want to make my stance on that known. Another dog just comes up behind him and just starts humping him. He's like, oh, this was, what, what, no, it's for fun. <laughs> Get off of him. Well, that was my strange addiction. Thanks, guys. That was fun.